Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel KSS Gurukul. Today in this video we will discuss the chapter 13 of class 6 math that is symmetry. Before that if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Symmetry means balanced proportion. For example take the shape of a heart. If we will draw a vertical line exactly in the middle of it, the two halves thus produced will be the ditto or mirror image of each other. Now we can say the shape of a heart is symmetrical and the line dividing it into two exact halves is the line of symmetry or the mirror line. Let's take a rhombus A, B, C, D and draw its diagonal B, D. To remind you, rhombus is a quadrilateral whose four sides are equal. Now we can see both sides of the diagonal BD are ditto or mirror image of each other. Or we can say they have balanced or proportionate similarity. Also if we will draw the other diagonal AC, both sides of it will show balanced or proportionate similarity. You can note the corresponding angles and lengths are equal on both sides. But if we will take a shape like this shown on the screen, we can't draw a line of symmetry on it both sides of which can be proportionate. Thus this is an asymmetrical shape. A scalene triangle that is a triangle which all sides are unequal has no line of symmetry. Now let's first discuss about the figures with more than one line of symmetry. A square has four lines of symmetry, two along the diagonals and two along the bisectors of opposite sides. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry connecting the vertices and the bisectors of their corresponding opposite sides. A rectangle has only two lines of symmetry, that is the bisectors of its opposite sides, one horizontal and one vertical. Note that the diagonals of a rectangle are not lines of symmetry, because if we fold a rectangle diagonally, the opposite halves will not exactly fit to each other. A circle has unlimited number of lines of symmetry along its infinite numbers of diameters. Next is reflection and symmetry. The line of symmetry and mirror reflection are related. When we stand in front of a mirror, our image is produced in it which is symmetrical to us, the line of symmetry being the mirror line. An object and its mirror image always have the same distance from the mirror line. The lengths and angles of an object are same to the corresponding lengths and angles of its mirror image. However, the orientation or arrangement is opposite to that of the original one. That means the left side of a shape becomes right and right side becomes left in mirror image. For example, the letter C will look like this and P will look like this as is shown on the screen. However, the mirror image of alphabets A, H, I, M, O, T, U, V, W, X and Y remains the same because they are symmetrical shapes having a line of symmetry. Let's discuss about an optical toy that is kaleidoscope. Through a kaleidoscope we can see beautiful and intricate designs having several lines of symmetry. We will never see the same design twice. Every time we will look through it we will find a different design. Kaleidoscope contains two or more mirrors positioned at a particular angle usually forming a V or a triangular shape. At one end there are collections of objects like colored glasses, 
and at another end there is the eye hole. When we look through the eye hole and rotate the instrument, we can see beautiful images or designs in it. Nowadays, the designs produced by kaleidoscope are being used by the fashion designers also. In kaleidoscope, principle of symmetry works in which repeated images are formed and each image is symmetrical to the image besides it. Let's discuss about an application of reflectional symmetry from your textbook. A paper delivery boy wants to park his cycle at some point P on the street and delivers the newspapers to houses A and B. Where should he park the cycle so that his walking distance AP plus BP will be least? Let's see be the mirror image of A where mirror line is the street. Now we can say AP equal to CP to remind you point P is the parking point. Thus the distance AP plus BP equal to CP plus BP. And if we want AP plus BP to be least, we have to make CP plus BP as least. To make the distance CP plus BP minimum, the position of P should be in such a place that the point C, P and B becomes collinear or be in a straight line. Thus, first we have to make a straight line by joining C and B and then the point where the straight line CB crosses the middle line is the P. This was all about this chapter. Thank you for watching. To get more updates about this subject, please subscribe our channel, KSS Gurugul.